Hey everybody, welcome back. David Eon and the gorgeous Miss Lady Pop Hunter here with another weekly round up, taking a look at some of what's coming to the adult collector's market very soon, mostly in the way of action figures. They're action figures, they're not dolls. A um, couple of announcements. Warren from Nerdtastic Plastic is doing the ToyCon Toy Show and Kaiju Days, because now it's merged oh. at the Bridgeview, Illinois mm -hmm. um, location. So if you're going to ToyCon Toy Show and or Kaiju Days, stop by Nerdtastic Plastic's cha uh, channel table. table and say hello. Also, trying out a podcast. Is it a podcast or... It's I a video. How this is gonna work. Um, Super Chat, Masters Maniac Mexico. He's usually in our Saturday live screen. Yeah. He he um, chimes in a lot. He's doing one on Saturday morning, and that will be one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Yes. One o'clock Eastern Standard Time today. And September eleventh. Yeah, September eleventh. So we'll be there. We're going to be there. We're going to check that out. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. Let's go ahead and get started and see what's in the wonderful world of toys. Starting off with Bandai, Bandai SH Figure Arts. And then of course, that's Dodoria. And that is the $125 version because now you know there's multiple versions oh, okay. and different price points of the SH Figure Arts, especially from Bandai Spirits. That's the Dodoria from the Ginyu Force, of course, $125. Mm -hmm. I wish they would show the packaging and the extra accessories or something. On the other end of the spectrum, there's the Figure Arts Frieza fourth form, and this is $35. Bucks. Hmm. $35, and it has something to do with the accessories and the packaging or something. But, you know, if you wanted a, a cheaper version, they do have cheaper versions. Yeah, There's you gotta go freezer. to Target. You'll see it. Yeah, Target does carry them, I think. Mm, look at that. Also from Bandai Spirits, this is a reissue of their GX71 Voltron. And this is 10 and a half inches tall, and it is plastic. I don't think there's any die cast in this thing. And it does break down into the lions. Mm. But again, that's just chromed over plastic it is not metallic at all this is three hundred and fifty dollars though for plastic yeah three hundred fifty dollars ten and a half inches tall i don't know how i feel about that yeah for that much you need to put some die cast in there yeah <laughs> i guess i'm not paying all that and from bandai's movie realization aka tamashi nation's star wars line they're doing the mandalorian Kind of looking like uh, Lone Wolf and Cub almost with <clears throat> Grogu in the little baby carriage. 140 for this set. You used to collect that. Well, I've got most of the Marvel ones. I don't really have any of the Star Wars ones. Oh. And the Star Wars ones is their bigger line, but they don't release them very often. So, you know, if you started at the beginning, it's not that hard to catch up. Mm -hmm. But 140 bucks for the... Mandalorian Tamashi Nations version. And back to Freeling again. <laughs> now, I showed one of these last week. I showed the Vitruvian Man. They've also got David. Not David. Not the statue of David. The statue of David. Mm -hmm. From Michelangelo. And he is anatomically correct. And his eyes are jointed. Well, which so I did not know that. Around? His eyes move around. His eyes are jointed. This is 112 scale. Well, just under 112 scale because it looks like it's just a hair under six inches. But then again, he is nude. $89. The statue of David is naked all his business out. Yeah, it is. And then they also, Freeling also made from Edvard, not Edward, Edvard, Edvard Munch, Edvard Munch's. Mukes. I don't remember how to pronounce it. The Scream. The painting of the Scream. They made an action figure of it. That's probably the most disturbing 12 scale figure I've ever seen. It'll be good if you got a lot of horror figures. Yeah, actually. It'll fall in nicely. And this is a hundred... Oh, I'm sorry. Not a hundred... 
this $89. Especially if you got flames, because it looks like he's burning. Yeah. In the way the face is. Yeah, that is bizarre. That is probably one of the most bizarre figures I've seen. Yeah, it's a bizarre painting. And going back to, because I showed this last week, mm -hmm. the Vitruvian Man, which is about $101. What I did not know, and that's why I'm showing it again, the extra arms and legs can be removed. Oh, okay. See? So you got two naked men. Yeah, so you can make him just look like Vitruvian Man, just as a normal man. Or you can attach the extra arms and legs on it like you saw it last week. Like okay. you see in the main picture there. Uh, I was I was not aware that you could do that. It's weird. Yeah. Funko! Anybody want to hear about Funko? Hmm. PX Previews exclusive Daredevil with comic book. Reissue of a comic <clears throat> book, I guess. Yes, the Netflix Daredevil? No. Oh. A <clears throat> comic book realization. Oh, okay. Dune. Dune? Was that film already out? I don't know. I know people were whining about it. Well, you know, it's hard to adapt that from the novels. Even And people are complaining that this film isn't as good as the other two attempts. Oh, okay. Even though the other two attempts left a lot out. It's a big series. Uh, maybe they should make it into a TV show. Yeah, well, it was also a, a, a miniseries. Oh. It was a film and then a miniseries. And I've seen both of those. I've not seen the new one. Target exclusive. My Hero Academia. More pops. And again, you know, I've never seen this, so I have no idea who these guys are. More My Hero Academia. Is it a good anime, or is it a lot of jumping around and screaming? <laughs> Somebody tell me. Like Dragon Ball Z? Yeah, well, no, I don't know if Dragon Ball Z quite counts for that. But I like Dragon Ball Z, actually. Mm-hmm. More My Hero Academia. Funko Shop exclusive keychains, t-shirt, and pop bundle, so on and so forth. And going to GameStop, a... 10 inch Nicholson Joker. Oh, okay. Batman, 1989, the only Batman that counts. Yeah. Well, no, the other He's a favorite um, one. Yeah. He's uh, a favorite. Christian Bale didn't do bad. No, he didn't. Do I bad. liked him. This is the Grogu from The Mandalorian. Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade Edition. Where did you get that from? Because during the play, they actually made a float of this. So this is a pop of the float that was made for Yeah, but where Macy's. do you buy it? I have no idea. At Macy's? <clears throat> I have maybe, I guess so. On Thanksgiving? <laughs> maybe. We will see. You can get it on eBay. More Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade ones. Yes, you will definitely find it on eBay. And a bunch of shirts and hoodies and such. And then it says Thanksgiving Day Parade 2021. Are they going to have one? Are they, they going to have be. a parade in empty streets? That's what they did last year. You know, it's getting weird in New York. That's getting it. weird. Funko Shop exclusive Merman. Another version another of Merman. Man? Yeah, they already got two out. <laughs> it sold out by the time anybody even logged in. Oh, did it? People were mad. Yeah. Mm, I don't need that because they already got two. I think that's like the, what they already got out. Yeah, it looks very they similar. They got a green one and a blue one. Yeah. Oh, well. Pins. Advent calendar pins. But I don't know what's supposed to go to 12 days, though. It ain't Halloween. <laughs> but it looks like an advent calendar. Enamel pins. Uh. More Pokemon. Celebrating 25 years. Oh, it's been hot that long. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. 25 years. And a jumbo Pokemon. I don't know who this is. I was never into Pokemon. I've never seen Pokemon. Sorry, guys. The show was dumb. Oh, was it? Yeah, I thought mm. so. Mm. And a supersized alien queen. 35 GameStop years. GameStop exclusive. Well, 35th anniversary of the second film. Mm -hmm. Anyways. And more What If. 
Guys, you've already done a ton of zombies. More mm -hmm. zombies. And that's like the Doctor Strange slash Spider-Man there. He's wearing Doctor oh, Strange's yeah, yeah, cape. Yeah, yeah. yeah zombie mm -hmm. fighter Spider-Man. More what if? I don't know how that's supposed to work. I don't know how some of these characters could even be infected by zombies. Hmm. And keychains, of course. And enamel pins, I'm sure. There's a soda. <laughs> this soda and a, and a jumbo is horrible. A jumbo, uh, jumbo size pop. Yeah, it looks like a uh, Scooby Doo villain. Yeah. <laughs> Hasbro, Star Wars, Black Series, Lando Calrissian. IG-11. And these are carded, obviously, because mm -hmm. you know they do carded and boxed versions. Yeah. The Emperor. Have they done these already? Man, these look familiar. Hmm. Maybe they did them in boxes and now they're on cards, because Hasbro's been doing that. Tebow. So this is their retro line? Yeah. On that style of card? Yeah. I think so. No, I, no, no, no. I, I'm, I'm confused. Okay. It could be their retro line or it could just be their black series. Oh. And then this one is their credit collection. And that's uh, Grief Karga. What's credit collection? Mean? I don't know what that means. Oh. This is $28. The others are in the $16 range. Okay. Maybe you collect points, and you got to cut the tab out of the back and mail it in. That's Carl Weathers. Oh, is it? Yeah. Mm. And a Ray Force FX Elite lightsaber. One-to-one -one scale. Hmm. 265. That's a Haslam? No. Mm. You're not going to find that at Walmart. I don't know. And the Hasbro Stormtrooper 4-pack in the little box. This is $42. It says Vintage Collection. And that's what's inside. Hmm. So you get a little squad. So you got about like eight of those in Armyville. Yeah, that's what they're hoping for. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. They help some people out already by giving them four. <coughs> Start your collection, your army collection. Yeah. Hot Toys. Hot Toys, uh, more Back to the Future. Uh, One-sixth scale. Oh, you never even seen it. Sure didn't. One-sixth scale figures, and that's Doc Brown. Doc Brown with all his little gear and equipment. And it's been a popular series. Some of the earlier ones are pretty expensive now. They're up there. Mm. So is this one at uh, opening price of $270. I noticed that there's a limitation on the hand changeouts. Usually they give you a crap ton of hands. Mm -hmm. So he only has six, the two he's wearing, and then the other four. Mm. Interesting. This is the regular edition. Uh oh. The bonus edition oh, comes, comes with the plutonium case. And this is 290 But if you just want the case... As far as I know, they're not selling it separate. Oh. So the deluxe version, you get the case also for basically an extra $20. Mm. And, you know, you can't have Doc Brown without Marty McFly. And that's, of course, from the first film, Marty McFly. With the dog. Dog is not jointed. His neck looks jointed. I guess it can. It looks like it might swivel. I don't know, but mm. it didn't say anything about the neck being jointed. A lot of detail. Look at the Walkman. Mm -hmm. This is two eighty five. No mm. deluxe version with this one. I also noticed no additional head sculpts. One head sculpt each mm. is all you get this time. Kid Robot. And I'm showing this for a specific reason. Okay. I don't show Kid Rock Robot too often, but I'll get to it a little later on. This is Cartman, 8-inch vinyl x-ray figure. Mm -hmm. And you can see inside of him, and he's full of coins. <laughs> okay, and that's based on a particular episode. I think it's the Man Bear episode. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. From Kid Robot, this is $70, 8-inch vinyl figure. Mm -hmm. Remember that. 
McFarlane Toys, the Batman vs. Azrael 2-pack for $42. A lot of people are saying, why didn't they just start with this? I guess they've done these figures already. Hmm. And now they're in a two-pack, and people are like, come on! But <laughs> well, At least they already got it. Yeah, if they do, they already got it. And they will also be doing the Princess Bride, but they don't show individual packaging or anything yet, but expect to see Princess Bride. I'm not sure if that really looks like Andre the Giant. Hmm. Except for his neck down. I'm not sure about that face sculpt. A lot of people screw that up. Super 7 did a, a crappy job yeah. on that. On the, uh, Andre, on, the on Andre the Giant too. He looked like, um, what's his name from The Walking Dead? Eugene. Mm -hmm. They like Eugene's head on Andre's body. No idea on the prices on these yet. And the Superman Rebirth. 20 bucks. Soon to be in Targets everywhere. Migo Mondays announced that they're doing Quark and Cisco. Quark and Cisco. A lot of controversy around the Topps Migo merger. Oh, yeah. Putting out these Migo Monday figures has been a lot of complaints and a lot of heartbreaks mm. or heartaches. Um, you know, topic of discussion for another time, but I guess uh, the collaboration's pissing a lot of people off. Mm. For Mezco. This is Hawk P40, another one of their original properties. Hawk P40, 112 scale action figure, comes with everything shown. I like that he's got little dog tags. Yeah. That actually looks pretty cool. Yeah, sold out in a heartbeat. Oh. Because, you know, it was one of those kind of things. Mm. $95. Not a bad price. Yeah. Also comes with this. Gatling cannon with two ammo cups. Rocket launcher, cables, blast effects, and a comic book explaining who the heck he is. Hmm. Fighting Daredevil of Tomorrow's War. <clears throat> I thought it was interesting, but you know, like I said, it, it went out quick. Hmm. Mighty Jacks, Split SpongeBob, six inch figure. Mm -hmm. And this is actually why I told you, remember the price on the Kid Robot, 8 inch Cartman, mm -hmm. X-ray version, and this is kind of the same thing except they split them in half. 6 inches tall, Kid Robot was $80, mm -hmm. how much is this one? Mm -hmm. $269. Oh wow. Oh wow, what a difference a different company can make. Just wanted to point that out. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It's worth whatever you want to pay for it. Uh, yeah, people. that's how you value yeah. things. What is, the yeah. value is what you're willing to pay. I just think, <clears throat> you know, because they kind of make similar things, and that's why I wanted to make that comparison. Mm -hmm. That's a huge jump in price. Yeah. Mondo, this is the PowerCon exclusive Hordak. And, you know, people already heard me complain about this. This is the Hordak I thought they should have put out the first time. Mm -hmm. And this is the Hordak nobody's going to be able to get because it's a PowerCon exclusive. Uh. $250. Although they said if there's any left after PowerCon, they'll make it available on their website. But since it's going to be limited, a limited number run, I doubt it. Mm -hmm. This is the one I would want, not the other one. Mm -hmm. You know, but $250. NECA, the 1989 Keaton Batman Grapnel Launcher Replica 1 to 1 scale should turn up in Walmart. I never found a battery. No, you didn't. Never saw that battery. <laughs> never did. This is uh, going to be in the $35 to $40 range. Mm, you can get it on Big Bad Toy Store. Yeah, they're going to have it too. They're going to have it too. Chucky and Tiffany 2 pack. Not, didn't they, they already did, do one? I know they did it separately for sure. Yeah, they did it separately for sure. <clears throat> this is more like in their um, deluxe scale with like real clothing and such. Yeah. But $80, $80 range for the two pack. No bloody weapons. Hmm. Matt Hooper. Who's that? From Jaws. 
the um, uh, the scientist guy, the oceanographer uh, from Jaws, and this is in you know eight. Is inch, that a face plate? Because that doesn't look like a head. Eight inch Mego style. I don't know them to do plates. I, you know, I I would assume <coughs> it's a head change. Maybe it's uh, just a pegged bit. out. You know, like yeah. uh, it's got the pit underneath, and the peg is on the neck. <laughs> but uh, he's got he was, he even got his little coffee cup. Mm. But yeah, this is going to be in the forty dollar range, forty and up, depending upon whether you buy it at Fye or anywhere else. <laughs> Fye, it'll expect it to be more. <laughs> From PCS Collectibles, Vampirella, one third scale, Vampirella. Hmm. By the fountain. Well, I guess that's not a fountain because it looks like uh, a creature's coming out of it. This is nine hundred and five. Wow. And it comes with a head change. So you can go with your modern portrait or your classic 70s look. Yeah, the 70s look more sinister. Yeah, she does. The, uh, it's the eyebrows. Yeah, the modern look more pornish. <laughs> does it? Yeah. Okay. I guess that's one way to look at it. And yes, this is a thing. Oh, God. Playmates <clears throat> versus tur Turtles versus Cobra Kai by Playmates. Yes, this is happening. And here's where I get confused with this. I don't know how much these are going to be. All right. And it can get worse, guys, because there's also going to be a Universal Monsters slash Transformers, Transformers crossover. That. Yeah, I didn't look at and the pictures, but I did see when it. When I can get some decent images, I'll, I'll do it on the next roundup. I, I just couldn't find anything but crappy images for the time being. They have the a sketch in the right corner, lower mm -hmm. right-hand corner, and that was, of course, John Kreese versus Raphael, and this is Danny LaRusso versus Michelangelo, and you get a better sense of it here. That is obviously modern Daniel LaRusso in the sketch, mm -hmm. but that's kid Daniel LaRusso in the package. Mm -hmm. So why couldn't you have made an older Danny or drawn a younger Danny? Why have we got old Danny on the art and young Danny in the package? You see what I'm saying? That's your argument. And then uh, Diaz. Why do you have Diaz? You've got three classic characters and a new one. Why not Mr. Miyagi, unless they just couldn't get the licensing, which I doubt that that would well, be a problem. Well, Mr. Miyagi wasn't on Cobra Kai. No, he's not on Cobra Kai, that's true. But I'm getting confused because, and here we are, Johnny Lawrence. There's like 15-year-old Johnny Lawrence, and then down here is like 50-something Johnny Lawrence in the picture. So, I mean, did they just take old figures they already had put together and... Okay, we'll just uh, change their clothes and throw them in the package, or what happened here? Anyway, uh, I think, I think nitpicking. I'm nitpicking a lot because I think they've gone as far as they can go with turtle crossovers, and they need to stop. They just need to stop, guys. I like the one anyway, they did with the Ghostbusters. You do? Mm -hmm. They look all right. I know what you mean, but they, the Ghostbusters wrestlers. wrestlers are okay. But, but then they, they didn't do verses. No, that's no, a not. versus. That's a versus. That was just them wearing the various outfits. And, and that was like, okay, whatever. Further nitpick. Uh oh, we're nitpicking. The turtles are ninjas and they're wearing karate geese. So <laughs> they're 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 not karate. They're ninjas. <laughs> Nit <laughs> that's right. Nit von Pickington. Anyway, that's it. That's going to do it for this week. That's all we had. Um, anything there you thought was interesting? No. Oh, that's a pity. Um, did I see anything that I thought was interesting? The Mezco Hawk was okay, but, you know, that's a pipe dream because it's just gone. Mondo <laughs> Hordak I like. Probably not going to get it because it's going to be a power uh, PowerCon exclusive. And so... Yeah, it's going to sell out of PowerCon, and then it's going to turn up on eBay for $1,200. Um, you didn't like the 10-inch Nicholson? No. It's from Pops? Wow! No 10-inch Pop. She's backing off of the Pops, guys. I got that in the regular size. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. Man, I can't even tell anymore. 
<laughs> um, honorable mentions. I do appreciate the Tamashi Nation's Star Wars. I like the uh, samurai realization figures that they do there with the Star Wars and with the Marvel. And I also like that they don't release but one every like five or six months. Gives you honorable a chance to catch up. Now. Yeah, honorable mentions. And I like what Freeling did. I like the Freeling uh, David and Vitruvian Man because they're so different. They're different. I mean, you look at people's... We've made this argument about Hot Toys a lot. Mm -hmm. You look at most Hot Toys... Uh, yeah. Or sixth scale, I should say. Sixth yeah. scale collectors or even 12th scale collectors. Even statue collectors. 95% of them got the exact same things. Yeah. And the ones that, that you, is really impressive is when you're looking at it and then you start seeing things that like, wow, I don't see that often. Or I didn't know they made a six scale figure of him. Yeah. You know, those are the ones that pop. Those are just that different. Like those toilet 12th scale toilet bots a few week ba weeks back, remember? Mm -hmm. They're so freaking different. It's just like, if you were looking at someone's collection and you're like, oh yeah, okay, what the hell? <laughs> you know, it just jumps out at you. Anyways, hey guys, did you see anything that you liked? Tell us about it in the comment section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you're new, all that good stuff. Check out some of our other videos. We do a lot on this channel for nostalgia. Nostalgia. purposes primarily this is as close to we get as anything new on this segment so what more can i say but thanks for watching and we will see you again soon